<laughs> Palette expander, 60 turns. I never thought I'd be at 60 turns with this because I thought I was going to get it out no longer than six months. But my last appointment, he's like, I have some good expansion you got. However, if I take the palette expander out, I won't get any more width. I have to keep opening these spaces for moving the teeth up and back. And I was like, okay. So he's like, call me when it's done turning. Well, it never stopped turning. So I just called like yesterday and I got an appointment for two weeks. So it'll be almost another seven weeks from when I thought I was going to get it out. But let me show you a close up. And also, when I show you this close up, I got springs in here. And they opened some space in between these teeth and here and also close the gaps in here that the expander had created. So watch for that because we're going to probably move the spring back to where I'm missing the second bicuspid on the next appointment. So I'll show you in there, but you can see a lot of space has been created, probably a third of the space they'll need to put the implants in. So let me give you guys a close up. Okay, the other thing is my front teeth have been coming forward and they're getting a little crooked in the process like this tooth here is up farther than these two front teeth. That's okay though, it kind of adds personality anyway and if they stayed crooked I wouldn't care. But um, my uh, in here is moving forward, my upper six teeth are moving forward so it's making my nose look a little bit smaller which is good. And I've been working on another video that I think some of you guys will like that are kind of against the industry, but nah, you'll have to wait and see. So that's pretty much where I am now. I, next appointment, we're going to get this, this rings foot in the right spot, I think, and hopefully we can get this palette expander out once and for all. I probably will turn it three or four more times before my next appointment, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I don't have to make any more palette expander appointments because uh, <laughs> videos because I'm just so tired of the palette expander. It's just so awkward and in the way of everything, and I've been getting... It's a hard to clean, so you do get kind of infections and stuff up there, too, from time to time. But anyway, hope everybody has a great night. Aloha.